Hi guys, this is Lucas with another video on Adobe Edge Animate. In this video, I'm going to show you how to link um, pages um, together. For example, uh, to use in menus, which is very important when it comes to web designing, as everyone may know. And also, it is very useful for creating external links, for example, um, linking um, a button to the an external Facebook page or other pages, for example, or Twitter, YouTube, and other pages. First of all, let's create a new document and let's le uh, let's make the width 1920 by whatever height you want. I'm going to just create some buttons in, in, in here. So let's enter the stage and make it responsive scaling. First, I'm going to create a rectangle and I'm going to name it button uh, I'm going to name it about button and I'm going to create another rectangle which I'm going to make it blue uh, uh, sorry red and I'm going to name it um, home button so I'm going to swap places right here And I'm going to create another one and I'm going to color it blue and it will be the Facebook page. So obviously these can be images with home written etc. So if you want you can make text here home etc. But I'm going to leave it a bit right here so remember a bit so this is the home this is the about and this is the facebook button right there so it is very easy to link pages with each other but first of all let's save the page whatever wherever you want um it is suggested that you um save the pages all the pages in uh, the same uh, folder so that you just link um, you just have an easy link to do in the code so I'm going to name it home and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave it right there we will have the, the three buttons as I said before and we are going to make a simple piece of code so that we can link um, uh, these two buttons to local pages and this and this to external to an external Facebook page in this example so first of all let's create uh, let's select the home button let's leave the timeline wherever we want and let's uh, go on these curly brackets which say open actions now here we will have um, a, a drop down menu and we will choose click so that the event will be executed when we click on the button we, um, you have other options for example mouse down mouse down mouse over double click etc but we are obviously um, because it will be used mainly for menus so let's go on click so now we are going to insert a very small piece of code which we, you will you, you are seeing right here so we are going to tell it window dot open open inverted commas home dot html um, this is um, the page that will be opened when the button is clicked therefore if we click the home button we want the home dot html to be opened comma open inverted commas again underscore self and close brackets this underscore self means that um, the window will open in the same tab you know when you um, click on external links for example a new tab will open obviously this will be in the menu therefore we want the same tab to reload the new page that you clicked so we will uh, we will have 
only this code when and it will be executed when the home button will be clicked you can go ahead and copy that code and let's go on the about button let's click on the actions again uh, ch check uh, sorry choose the click action and paste the code again but in this case when we are going to click the about button the about.html will be opened and obviously in the new tab that we want okay now the last thing is the facebook page the external facebook page or an ex any any external um, uh, links that you want let's go ahead and open the actions choose click and paste again the code this time we are going to here just write the um, uh, the url so we are going to just uh, type http www.facebook.com right there and it will obviously open facebook.com or let's do youtube.com and and it is going to open youtube in this case and here we are going to make it blank this means that when it is clicked a new um, tab will be opened so that the website is not closed and you have to go back and f uh, so on and so forth therefore if we do it uh, the external link will do it blank it will open a new tab and it will be easier to navigate through the website and the external link so let's save the document now um, we are going uh, uh, we are going to go in the folder where we saved and here we will have some files so as you can see there are the, Im the images obviously we, did, we didn't include any images and we will have the here the home.html so if we open it we can see the three buttons now um, the last thing to do is to create the about.html because we didn't create it so uh, to do that we just um, think that it, this is the menu so um, we, are go we have to recreate it exactly like it is so let's go to file save as go in the um, uh, same folder and name it about in this case so that you can create another link another html page and now we can see the about now the last thing is to publish the um, uh, the pages so go on publish settings here you can check web um, it will be uh, published in the uh, in the same folder in publish web a folder that will be created automatically once you save you can save the settings and go on publish or press Control alt s the same thing you have to do it for um, the home file so go on file and publish and as you can see now we have a publish folder right here and a web folder and here we only have the html files this will be um, very important because this these are the files required only to upload if you if you want to insert the, these html files in in your website for example upload them by ftp or something like that you will only ha need these files right here instead of having these adobe uh, generate files and stuff th that you don't want and uh, the browser that does not read them so if we can see the result let's go and open the home um, HTML file and you can as you can see these this is the home uh, button about button and face and YouTube in this case button so if we go home we can see that it reloaded here we can see home if we click here we see the about dot HTML right here and if we click here YouTube will open in a new tab and that is exactly what we wanted we can see the difference by making some text in the about we can write about here and save it and go here in the home 
and write home and save it as well then don't forget to publish because this will be the last result let's go again and open the, uh, the html file so uh, as you can see we are in the home if we click we are in the about and so on and so forth and if we click here a new tab will open with youtube obviously the last thing if you want the in this case if you want the uh, external link to be opened in the same tab not in a, in a separate tab uh, here instead of blank you just write self publish again and make sure that the change is also occurred in the other page as well so we make it self and publish and if we load it again we can see that youtube will now open in the same tab and you have to go back to open the file again so that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it and it was very helpful for your um, website creation thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe